Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is so exciting because I have a book haul. I have not done a book haul in a while because y'all know I have been paying off debt. Finally paid off one of my credit cards, which is so amazing. So I have stopped buying books and I've been strictly reading on my Kindle. But today I have a book haul. I have a few books that I bought recently over the last few weeks that I have not shared with you guys. So I'm going to share them with you today. Day, and I'm so excited. So if you'd like to see what books I bought, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first one, one that I'm actually reading, and it's so good. You guys, first I want to say is that I'm a dark romance reader. I love romance, dark romance, dark fantasy, fantasy romance, that kind of um, situation. But but I do not like rom-coms. I hate contemporary romance because they just look so cheesy and like, that's just not my thing. But I saw this book in the, the store, so I had to pick it up. And it's called Love Theoretically, and I'm loving the book. The cover is pretty darn cute. Most of the time, the covers are like really lame in my opinion, but I like this one. And so I picked it up, and I'm loving it, and I'm going to finish it tonight. Physicists collide in a vertex of academic feuds and fake dating shenanigans in this delightful Deminist rom-com from the author of the love Hypoth hypothesis the and love on the brain basically this girl named Elsie is a physicist and she um, Has two jobs. She's a part-time job where she's like a escort, but basically she doesn't do all that stuff She just does like fake dating and whatnot and she gets paid for it. She's going for her She just got her PhD So she's applying for this new career path to be a professor at a different place the guy that that she does her interview with and whatnot that will become her colleague her fake boyfriend's brother um so it just gets really crazy and her fake boyfriend doesn't know about her other life where she has a phd and whatnot so they collide and we'll see where it goes where it goes do they fall in love do they do what we don't know but i heard this was really good and i started reading it and i really i'm enjoying it so far I haven't gotten to any steamy parts yet so there's that <laughs> and then the next book i picked up is icebreaker i was going to get this on my kindle but apparently kindle unlimited does not have it on there yet because it's still so hyped up right now this is by hannah grace so i'm just going to read you the back he's the one thing she couldn't plan for and this is this is a hockey romance, as you can see. I heard it is, it is pretty spicy, so I will be the judge of that. But the cover is just a little bit too cheesy. I heard it's really spicy, so I'm pretty excited to read this. And then I also picked up The American Cycle because I've heard so much about him. I just never... I don't think I watched the um, documentary about him, but like, um, but this has been on my list for a long time. I saw it at Target, so I decided to pick it up. So this is about a guy named Patrick Bateman. He lives a second life as a gruesome serial killer by night. So I'm really interested in re reading this because I know there is a movie about it. And I'm slowly getting into Thriller because fall is coming up. <laughs> so uh, that's American Psycho. I'm pretty sure a the whole world has knows about American Cycle, um, this story, but like I haven't read it, so interested. Um, and next I picked up My Policeman because this was really popular a few months ago in the movie theaters, um, because Harry Styles stars in it, and I really want to read the book before I watch this, so I really need to start reading this soon. Um, and it's about two play people that fall in love with a policeman and. It a guy falls in love with a policeman and also a woman falls in love so they're like fighting for this guy's love um so that's the gist of it in 1950s brighton and marion first catch sight of tom he teaches her to swim gently guiding her through the water in the shadow of the city's famous pier and marion is smitten determined her love alone will be enough for them both a few years later tom meets patrick a curator at the Brighton Museum. Patrick is besotted, besotted and opens Tom's eyes to a glamorous, sophisticated new world of art, travel, and beauty. Tom is their policeman, and in this age, it is safer for him to marry Marion and meet Patrick in secret. So it's in the 1950s where you can't be gay, you can't be lesbian, you can't be any of that. Um, the two lovers must share him until one of them breaks and the three lives are destroyed. Inspired by the real-life relationship, the novelist E.M. Forster had with a policeman, Bob Buckingham, and his wife, 
May. My Policeman is a deeply heartfelt story of a love's passionate endurance and the devastation wrought by a rep repressive society. There were pretty good reviews on this movie and the book, so uh, I, just, I, don't wanna, I wanna read it before I watch this movie. But we'll see how long I wait because I am very impatient. And then you guys, last but not least, so I saw that Sarah J Mass came out with a limited edition copy and I just had to. This is the A Court of Thorns and Roses Collector's Edition by Barnes & Noble. And this is the first book in the Akatar series. You know I love that series. Um, and I cannot wait to read it again in a few months. Um, but this is the Barnes & Noble Collector's Edition. So I had to get it because it is um, hardcover. And I do want to get the series in hardcover. Um, but it's just so beautiful. So beautiful. And then it comes in this cute, nice case that I'm in love with. So, um, and then the pages are detailed as you can see with just some vines and whatnot. Let's see if there's like, the pages are really thin. They like feel expensive. <laughs> And then here is a picture for a chapter. Like, look how beautiful. So I, ju I just had to get it because I really fell in love with reading after I read this series. This series is like what jump-started my reading the last the few years ago. Like two years ago? In 2021, I would say. Um, and yeah, so... This is like what jump started my whole reading obsession and um, fantasy obsession because I've never really was in fan into fantasy until this series came out. So I'm in love. I mean, I've always been a reader since I was a kid. I always brought a book to school from middle school to high school, but like I stopped for college and life just got in the way. But you know, during quarantine and all that, I got back into reading. So. That is my book haul for today. Let me know if you guys are interested in reading, reading any of these books um, or if you would like me to read one of these books next and do an actual review. Let me know because I would be willing to do that. Um, and yeah, I am going to go read this book today because I need to finish it and I want to finish it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.